Welcome back everybody, it's Untapped Your Go, and today I have a special deck. So this is Simic Emery Engine. This is a list I have been playing around with for quite some time now, and I have almost 40 reps with it, and it's got a 60% win, win rate. So like, this deck is, is the real deal. It's the real deal. This deck really wins, like, way more than it probably should. So let's break down the deck. Paradox Engine. This card should be banned, right? No. No. No, don't ban this card. This card is great. Keep this card alive. Keep this card around because otherwise this deck like this would not exist. Whenever we cast a spell, untap all non-land permanents you control. That's everything that's not a land. So that's going to untap our mana rocks like our mind stones. And that's going to untap our mox ambers. It's most importantly going to untap our emery lurker of the lock. This is a three mana one two merfolk wizard that costs one less to cast for each artifact we control. So we can play this as early as turn one by playing Ornithopter, Mox Amber, and an Island, and then just play it. And then we have a free mana from the Mox Amber to play something else like a Chromatic Sphere or an Aether Spellbomb. Like our turn one plays can be very explosive. And then when she comes into play, she mills four cards, and then you can tap her to cast any artifact from your graveyard till end of turn. So as you can see, you cast Mox Amber from your graveyard, untaps Emery, cast Mox Amber from your graveyard, untaps emery and you repeat that process so you generate a decent amount of mana then you cycle through your chromatic spheres and your mind stones to draw your deck until you can find your mystic forges and then once you find your mystic forges you can just cast everything off the top if you find keenan it doubles up all of our mana generation including chromatic sphere because this is a tap and sacrifice to add mana so this actually adds two mana when we have keenan in play very 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 cool so we're just trying to generate as much mana as possible get keenan get emery in play keenan is not necessary at all to the deck's function you do not need keenan to win the game so i've had a lot of opponents try to kill keenan because they see keenan and they just automatically assume i'm going to try to get an ulamog or like you know just some crazy creature out of it when well, that's not the case keenan is in here to double up the mana acceleration and on the off chance that we don't have an emery in play keenan finds emery it puts emery right into play for us so that's really cool and then once we have once we have Emery in play in Paradox Engine, the rest of the deck just falls into place. The Mox Amber generates mana until the Chromatic Spheres can start drawing cards, until the Mystic Forge you can start casting stuff off the top. How do we win the game? Well, it's kind of it's kind of like a really janky win condition. It's literally just Folio of Fancies. That's it. We just draw until we find Folio of Fancies, and then we proceed to mill our opponent infinitely with Folio of Fancies due to the untapping of Paradox Engine. So yeah, this deck is definitely a glass cannon. It's definitely an all-in combo. And most people scoop before they even realize what the win condition is. And then actually one guy waited all the way until I played my win condition and Folio was at the very bottom of the deck. So I spent I spent like five minutes on a turn like fighting the clock to try to get the, the combo to go off. And I finally casted the Folio of Fancies and then they immediately scooped. Most people scoop as soon as they see Emery on tap one time. Once they see that happen once, they're just like, ah, ah, forget this. Like, this is not worth it. Anyway, that is the main board. With the mana base, we have a mix of basics. We have a mix of duels. We have A, Crawl, and Barons. As an like, additional win condition, it has actually gotten me there once or twice. Inventor's Fair, this card has been great. If I had more copies, I probably would play two or three copies total. This just lets you grab Paradox Engine pretty much whenever you need it, and then you can win the game on the following turn. And then Spire of Industry taps for any color as long as we have an artifact, which pretty much all the time is going to be the case. In the sideboard, we have Aether Spellbomb and Fountain of Renewal against aggressive matchups to be able to gain some life and to be able to bounce their creatures. Hope of Garper against Control. This has actually been kind of neat in testing, so you can attack your opponent as early as like turn one or turn two. You can attack your opponent with this, sacrifice it, and then your opponent is pretty much like frozen for a whole turn, and that buys you so much time. If you can play... If you can attack with Hope of Gearper the same turn that you, you play Emery or something, it's super strong because it just protects your board state and then you can combo off on the following turn. Then we have two copies of Wilt. This is just, you know, classic. Destroy Artifact or Enchantment. One copy of Ratchet Bomb. This is, again, against aggressive matchups and we can recur this to wipe tokens. So this is especially good against Goblins and stuff. For the Control matchup, we also have three copies of Sorcerer Spyglass because Planeswalkers are kind of a big deal. I think Planeswalkers are probably what we struggle to play against the most. Aggressive matchups, if they can't kill us quick enough, we always usually win the game. Control matchups and mid-range matchups, if it goes past like turn 5 or 6 and they start sticking their threats, we have a very hard time keeping up with that. So Sorcerer Spyglass definitely slows them down a little bit. 
And then we have two copies of Life, Crasher, Life Crafters Bestiary. This is, again, for control matchups. I did not want to play this in the main board because it doesn't do anything the turn you play it at all. And I don't like do-nothing cards, to be honest. But Life Crafters Bestiary is super good against control because it lets you scry every upkeep. And that's really good to be able to just churn through all the unnecessary draws. And then whenever we cast a creature spell, which there aren't that many, we get to pay a green and draw card. So that applies to Ornithopter, Keenan, and Emery. So we can get, you know, up to 12 draws or whatever off of that, in theory. But that is the deck. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Please, please, please try this one out. This is probably the one I've worked the hardest on so far on the channel. I've spent the most time with this deck, testing it and actually getting it up to speed so that way I can put up some good content for you guys. So please, please, please stick through for the gameplay and watch all the way to the very end. Leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed today's video and please hit the subscribe button and the bell, especially the bell because I've noticed a lot of my subscribers aren't even getting notified of my new videos. So please, 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 please stay up to date. If you wanna watch them, hit the bell. All right, so our opponent's on the play and our opening hand is actually really, really good. If we can find an Emery, we're pretty much set for this to work. Up against Redidi. Redidi. Chromatic Sphere. We'll go ahead and play that out and then just pass it up. Um, if our opponent played a creature first, I could have let off with the Spell Bomb. Yeah, now I know the Spell Bomb is probably more relevant here. But this is okay. Because Keenan off the top is going to give us an explosive, explosive start here. So we can go Mox Amber Mind Stone. Ether spell bomb, and I could sacrifice this. So I could sacrifice it. I could sacrifice both of these to draw a card. Um, you know. Okay. All right. So. Regenerating some mana. Hold on. Hold on now. So, we can't get the Paradox Engine, but we can get the Mystic Forge down. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yep. Alright. This is turn two. Or turn three, I believe. This is, um... I'm not trying to add the mana. No. And now I don't have the blue to play Emery. Damn, it actually kind of set, set me up a little bit there. Ah, if I hit blue. No, I could have hit blue. I was trying to like undo it. I didn't want to like click the mana yet. I was trying to figure it out. And then the game just kind of forced it on me because I clicked it. Damn. All right, so our opponent's assessing the board state, and <laughs> they're definitely um, a little bit concerned. I'm gonna put a stop on our upkeep too, just because I wanna, I wanna eat the last card off the top here. <laughs> opponent's really thinking. He's like crunching the numbers. Like, wait, how does this deck work? How does this deck win? What is Keenan? What is Keenan grab? What is Mystic Forge? What is the Black Lotus Pet? Why did I buy this? What is the Yamket map? Why does this map exist? This map is probably the worst map, and it's always the one I play. Like, these are all my thoughts. Yeah. Alright, so, opponent decides to... Let me have it. Such a guy. Such a guy. Alright, so now I get to just immediately just exhibit how this deck works. So, pay the life. We actually can't win this turn regardless, just because Emery won't be tapped well we are definitely playing this paradox engine I'm very much playing this stuff six mana off the top huh six mana huh so let's see if i can okay yeah but it might just let me win here even though i don't have the emery in play this could just theoretically be win If I generate enough mana. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and activate Keenan a bunch of times since we uh, whiffed. Folios in the graveyard, that's cool. 
Okay, might as well do it one more time. Okay, so our board state's pretty ridiculous, but we're not winning the game yet. We need Emery to be able to untap. Is it target opponent? Each opponent, sucker, sucker. Oh God, Shalai is the worst card in Magic. Why do people play this? It's so bad. It's so bad. Every single time I ever play Every single time I ever play a deck that cares about targeting, like, it's always each opponent. It's never, like, directly targeting. And I always play against Shalai, and it just doesn't do anything. The way Shalai is worded, just, it completely gets around it, and it doesn't matter. So, let's just go ahead and grab the folio. Let's play the folio. We have 28 cards so let's make each player draw 15. Oh no. <laughs> uh, this deck is rude, it's not fair. But it's okay. We, we've never cared about fair. I don't think on this channel, I don't think we've ever really cared about what's fair and what's not fair. <laughs> Alright, opponent, please enjoy milling 15 at a time, my guy. <laughs> so the deck had, had multiple win conditions at first. It did play like um, Metalwork Colossus and Witch Oven to kind of just try to get some shenanigans there too. And um, I, I was playing an Ugin, like a one of Ugin. But it just, like, the turns where you find Ugin anyway, you don't care. Because you're pretty much there anyway. Like, you're already winning the game. If you're not winning the game, at this point, <laughs> like, you definitely did something wrong. But, if you did it right, <laughs> good game. Okay, up against Buhox. Buhox. I mean, this is a good hand. Okay, and we managed to make it through turn one with no thought sees. Hopefully we don't see a turn two thought erasure here. I don't know. Okay, so they're just holding up drowning the lock. Not drowning the lock. Uh, probably lofty denial or something stupid. All right, so let's play the Mox Amber first. That's fair, but totally, totally tricked you. I don't think we need to play the Mox Amber yet. We could probably hold off on that. Let's try it again. No counter magic. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and Play it like that. So we can keep Keenan on top if our opponent kills this one. Though it's not really necessary. Like, I kind of just want to find Emery at this point. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Do we keep... Yeah, we keep... I think we keep Keenan on top. Right? Because if we play Keenan, then we have one, two, three, four mana, five mana... We'll have five, so if we can find like Paradox Engine off the top. All right, no Paradox Engine. My Chromatic Sphere is not terrible. That'll help a little bit. All right, so we play this Keenan. Go ahead and sack this for two. Play it. Sack this for two. And we got an Ornithopter out of it. All right. So, again, like, if we can just untap. Okay, that's fair. That's totally fair. All right, Inventor's Fair off the top is super good. Don't tap it. Don't tap it. Because one, two, three, 
Okay, we won't have enough to actually do that yet. So let's just go ahead and get the stuff off the top that we can. All right, we'll set a stop on our upkeep. Pass it up. We can also have each player draw a card on the end step. All right, nothing from our opponent. So we're going to go ahead and draw a card. Emery off the top. We definitely do not want to exile that. Keep it. Test the waters here. All right, no counter magic. Play our Emery. Keenan off the top. I could keep Keenan. And we have Paradox Engine in the grave. Yeah. So we opponents got one more chance. They have to kill Emery this turn or they lose. Okay. I really hope your last card's like a Heartless Act or something. We'll discard the Breeding Pool. No attacks, my turn. And an engine off the top? Wow, you gotta love it. So, uh... Good game. Just gonna go ahead and... Good game you now. Let's get rid of that. Let's go ahead and replay this. So I guess now we can just start cycling the chromatic spheres if we really wanted to. So I think it's fine. We don't necessarily gain any mana out of it. Well, yeah, we do. We gain a lot of mana out of it, actually. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep doing this. Get rid of that top. Get rid of that top. Get rid of that top. A lot of Keenans, a lot of Emerys this time around. Uh, yeah, let's keep going for Chromatic Spheres. So this is essentially how the deck wants to function. You you, you can QQ to auto tap all your stuff too. It's very important, especially when you're going when you're comboing out on the turn because you will run out of time pretty quickly if you don't. So let's go ahead and make each player draw six cards. Let's do six. When this card first got spoiled, I tried making it work in standard mill, and it just it didn't work. Um, but obviously it's gonna work here because it's infinite. Um, we're on a two we're on a two zero streak. Let's see if we can let's see if we can just go undefeated today. All right, up against pretty. Predator and Predator Day. Predator Day. And I think that this is a good hand. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, double Emery School. So if our opponent kills one, we can play the other. So we'll just go ahead and play out the Breeding Pool tapped and pass. Alright, so Ornithopter, Chromatic Sphere, probably just holding up Counter Magic or something. They resolved the first two spells, and they let this one resolve. Is it Shock? Are they holding up Shock or Lightning Strike or something? Fire Prophecy? I'll just keep going, man. Or he's holding up nothing. How? How are you holding up any? How are you not holding up anything? That's fair. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Well, hinterland harbor. So we could replay the Emery. Let's go ahead and play one. We found our engine. 
We're still a mana shy, though. We have the Amber Engrave. Let's see if we can find a mana rock off the top. No, okay. All right, let's pass it up. We have to keep the other Emery in hand because our opponent is playing interaction, so we need to try to keep our Emery alive. Opponent might just be greedy here. Yeah, okay, so they're going for the spells. Uh, we're about to take four. Well, we could just chump. Of course. Of course you found it off the opt. Why wouldn't you find it off the opt? All right, uh, I could play the Forge. If we play Emery, like we still don't just win yet. We need, we need the combo. All right, so if I play the Forge, then I'm taking three, four, five, six, seven, potentially eight or more. So I'm gonna I'm at a virtual twelve. So if I play this and then it takes another turn to set up Emery, I have to kind of play Emery first, right? Like Emery has to be able to tap in order to just win outright. So I got I mean our opponents losing cards. They're down. They're down cards. Now they're not. <laughs> Divination for our opponent. Good old divination. You you never see it. You you just you never see it. I could Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so I saved myself the life. We have Emery still. How do we win? Hmm. So we grab the amber. I feel like our opponent has a counter spell. Okay. Negate's pretty good. Um I mean negate's strong. Draws out their draws out the counter for our paradox engine to resolve. That's pretty good. Right, down to ten. And a mind stone. Hmm. So we have five mana. We tap, we can play Paradox Engine. But then do we just lose? So we would be taking three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All he has to do is pump his dude twice. Nine, ten. All right, this is sketchy, but we're gonna lose next turn if we don't win next turn anyway. Like we have to win or we just lose. As generic of, of a statement as that sounds, and gutter snipe. Ooh! Oh my God, we're actually alive. Holy shit, we're actually alive. Good game, bro. Like, you... Good game, bro. Oh. From to life. From to life. Like, dude, this, this opponent has got to be fuming. You gotta be fuming, bro. You fuming, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna play on Mystic Forge. We're just gonna. You know what? I was gonna see that. Uh, actually, I So we'll just gonna have to figure out So we have three more to stroll. So, I'll start now. I can't believe we got there, guys. This, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. This is serious. It's serious. If it gets one turn, all these, one turn. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he scooped! <laughs> All 
All right, for future reference, how my opponent just failed and potentially punted the game. He could have put a stop on his upkeep, and if he had any burn spell, he could have shocked me in response to entering his draw step, and he could have actually just beat me. So, um, you know, just food for thought. <laughs> All right, so our opening hand is, is, like, really, really good, but we have won three in a row, so I think we're... I think we're due for a loss, right? And we're up against elves. Friendly opponent, though. Hello. Hello, buddy. We'll go ahead and just play out the Ornithopter so they don't get the free chip damage with the elf. Go ahead and play out that folio too. <laughs> He's a good game. <laughs> uh, Anissa, yep. Yeah, bro, good game. <laughs> uh, we still don't just win, though. Like, we don't just win here. Like, we have, we still have a lot to do. Uh, so, let's see. All right, leech player gets to draw a card. And might as well... S actually, wait. Let's see if I can do this in full control. So cast. Untap. Yes. Tap. Six. We have five mana now. Each player draws two cards. Okay, so we whiffed. But that's a nice little interaction to know that I can do. Alright. So, Mystic Forge is going to help a lot, actually. Mystic Forge and Keenan could be enough, too. An opponent said good game pretty early, but I mean, they did just slam a, a Nissa, And this is like a really strong Nissa for sure. All right, they just go straight for the emblem. Yeah. Yeah. All right, another Paradox Engine off the top. It's not super good for us. Um, so we're going to go ahead and float. Mystic Forge it up. Oof. Two turns away. Two turns away. So all we have to do is, is stay alive for two turns. And Emery needs to live. I know it's asking for a, a lot, but it, it, it'll be fine. It's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. Garrick, too? Okay. I mean, if I lose to this guy, I'm, I'm cool with it. Because this is like a cool mono green deck. You don't see stuff like... You don't see a pile like this, usually. Yeah, gives them trample. Yeah, and it destroys an artifact. Wow, this is like the this is the game to lose. I think like this is the game telling me to go fuck myself for for being a dirty bastard at bad building decks. Uh, so, let's try it again. We got Emery. And then I think we just kind of lose. Like, we have to... Hmm. Oh, God, it depends. Alright. It depends on what our opponent does. If they just attack with the Kogla, they'll probably destroy an Ornithopter.
I mean, if they just attack with everything, they win. okay, that's game. <laughs> it's game. <laughs> I was not meant to win that at all. Like, Magic God said, mm -mm. <laughs> nope. All right, going into the fifth and final game up against Plagiarism. <laughs> and, um, I mean, this hand's good. It doesn't have Keenan or Emery in it, but... Mm, I mean, it's fine. Chromatic Sphere into Mindstone into Forge is still a play. It'll definitely help. Ooh, our opponent got the sleeves. They picked correctly as to who won. Ooh. That makes them just as much of a pro as they are. Alright, so let's go ahead and play out this island. Get our Mindstone down. And I mean, the Ornithopter is irrelevant. We'll save that for the Paradox Engine triggers. Death Baron. Okay. All right, plagiarism. I see you, bud. I I, I like that. That's cool. We're going to play our Forge. And then... I mean, the Ornithop is irrelevant. We still don't really need to play it. Do we want that paradoxical outcome? It's the only one in the deck. Do we need it? Our opponent's given us plenty of time to set up. Uh, yeah, I don't really think we need it. I'm going to put a stop there, too. The only inventor's fair. Well, we already have the Paradox Engine 2 in our hand, so we don't need that. Well, the Mystic Forge isn't terrible. Okay. So... Play out the land, pay the life. I have five mana, and then I can untap and get one mana back. So I can't mine soon too. But I can par I can paradox sacrifice the chromatic sphere. Which doesn't seem bad. Eh, card on the top's terrible though. Alright, so. Lord of the Accursed. So that's gonna be three, six, nine. I'm still okay with taking that. We don't have Emery in play though. Uh and he can give him a menace, right? Yeah, this is probably game. We probably we yeah, we probably lost this. Maybe not. Actually. Keenan off the top? Can I get a can I get a W in the chat, guys? Maybe. All right, so QQ. 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 Oh my God, you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Um, I just I don't really actually know how we stay alive though or win from here. Like we have to find. Okay, there's an Emery. Emery doesn't actually win us the game though. Just yet. Right? Like we need. We need to mill them. We have to just try to mill them this turn, otherwise we're dead. And we're running out of life. Let's go ahead and activate Keenan once. Oh, there's an Emery, that's cool. So this untap. Well, the Aether Spellbomb actually keeps us alive. The Aether Spellbomb is going to keep us alive. Maybe. 
Because we... All right, so we need Emery to stay alive. Should we try to dig for another... We should try to dig for another Ornithopter, I think. I couldn't find it. We're still at a ton of mana. I could bounce the token. I could bounce the Lord of the Accursed. I'm going to save the Lord of the Accursed till after... Um... I need to draw one more card. Dangerous. Ooh. So three, six. So let's undo that. Let's just activate Keenan again. Got an Ornithopter. And one mana, so we would have to bounce the Lord of the Accursed, and then he can just play it again. But then he can just play it. Oh, wait, yeah. All right, yeah, so we bounce Lord of the Accursed. He has to tap to give it menace. That's so much better. That is so much better. Now all we need to do is block all of his creatures with Keenan, Ornithopters, and then just keep Emery and we win. Oh man, this is tense. Random like bump in the night type card or something to just kill me on the spot. That would be hilarious. Mm. Man, you suck. You suck, plagiarism. All right. Well, let's try to win again this turn. We have 26 cards. And we got there. Maybe. All right. So let's math this. 11, 21, 22, 24. All right, so let's go ahead and make each player draw eight cards. Let's do eight. All right. QQ. Holy shit. Oh, oh, yeah. From two life earlier and from one life now. Oh, my God. <coughs> wow. Like, you love to see it. You just, you, you got, like, guys, you got to be feeling this. You got to be feeling this with me. This is amazing. Good game. Good game. Yes, I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the wrap up, everybody. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching as always. And I just wanted to leave this up on the screen for you guys really quick. So on the play 17 times, we have won 64% of those games on the play. And then on the draw 22 times, we have won 63%. So like, whether we go first or it goes second, we have a pretty consistent 65-ish percent range of winning the game. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like, let's see, that's 29. That's 39 games. That's almost 40 games, and it has a 60% win ratio, whether you're on the play or on the draw. It's, this deck is really good, man. And, I mean, I'm just going to keep playing with it. I'm... I'm I'm chewing through platinum right now, like, and I know platinum is not crazy or whatever, but like, uh, I started last night at platinum three or four, 
and uh, like by the end of this video i'm halfway through platinum one i could probably get diamond by the end of the day and then you know just keep keep grinding i mean this this season's gonna be ending soon or whatever that's a whole another thing but regardless thank you for watching everybody i appreciate it as always thank you for your support uh leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed it obviously hit the subscribe and the bell down below please 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 hit the bell at least because it really helps notify you guys that my videos are being uploaded youtube is being very weird about not notifying you guys so i just want to make sure that the people who do want to see my content actually get to see the content that i'm making so please 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 hit that bell down below and uh that's it for today everybody thanks for watching and i'll see you next time